Welcome to iLecture Online and here by special request from one of our viewers, we're going to do some more examples of how to add and subtract rational expressions in algebra. And here's a couple examples. And uh, if we look at the first example here, we want to look at the denominators first. And in order to add fractions, the denominators need to be the same, and obviously they're not the same. So what you want to do is you want to find the factors in each denominator. And if you factor this denominator, you'll probably see one of these uh, uh, binomials in there. So let's go ahead and start with that. We're going to factor the denominator of the first fraction, and we'll get, because this is the difference of squares, we get an x and an x, a minus and a plus, and a 4 and a 4. So if you multiply these together, you'll get back to this denominator right there. And then we still have the plus x plus 2 divided by x minus 4. All right. Now you look and you see that you have an x minus 4 here, you have an x minus 4, but you don't have the x plus 4 that you have here over here. So to get that, you're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by x plus 4. So we go like this, x plus 4, extend this a little bit, and multiply this by x plus 4. All right, just like that. Now you realize when you look at this that this now looks exactly the same as this denominator. So now we can go ahead and add the fractions. But then, of course, before we do that, let's multiply out what we have in the numerator. So this now becomes x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 times x plus 4. And plus, we multiply this out, we get x times x. It gives us x squared, x times plus 4, that's plus 4x. Uh, 2 times, so you go like this, and then you go 2 times x, which is plus 2x, and then 2 times 4, which is 8 all divided by the common denominator of x minus 4 times x plus 4. So now that we have the same denominators, we can write these two fractions over a single denominator. So like this, x minus 4 times x plus 4. And then we add everything up in the numerator. So we have an x minus 4, we have a plus x squared. We have a plus 4x plus 2x, that's plus 6x. And now we have a plus 8, All right? And now what we have to do is we simply have to add the common factors here, or the common terms. In this case, we have an x squared. We have a 6x. And we have a plus x there. That's plus 7x. And we have a minus 4 and a plus 8. That gives me a plus 4. All divided by x minus 4 times x plus 4. Now, sometimes you can factor the numerator, but that's typically not necessary. So we can call this the final answer, or the sum of those two rational expressions. And that's how you do that. So always make sure you get the same denominator. If you have something that looks like this, factor it first, and you can easily see what you're missing. You already have the x minus 4, but you need the x plus 4. And of course, by multiplying the denominator by x plus 4, you must do exactly the same to the numerator. So now let's look at our next example here. <clears throat> and at first sight, the denominators almost look the same. Here you have a 2 minus x, and there you have an x minus 2. So the question is, how can you make this denominator look like that denominator? And actually, if you multiply the denominator by negative 1, then this becomes a negative x, and that becomes a plus 2, then you have the same thing that you have over here. So the idea is, multiply the denominator by a negative 1. Of course, if you do that to the denominator, you must do the same to the numerator. So it's just like over here, we're going to alter the second fraction by multiplying the denominator by negative 1. And of course, you have to also multiply the numerator by a negative 1. All right, let's see what we get now. So this will now become 4x over 2 minus x is equal to, so we have a minus 3x times a negative 1. That becomes, oop, that's not an equal sign. That now becomes plus uh, 3x. I'm messing up here. All right, divided by, so negative 1 times x becomes a negative x, and negative 1 times a negative 2 becomes a plus 2. So now you actually have the same denominator. It may not look like that, but if we simply switch those two around, then it becomes very obvious. So I have a 4x over 2 minus x plus a 3x over 2 minus x, simply by switching those two around. And now you can see that you have the exact same denominator. Now you can go ahead and write over a common denominator. So this is the same as writing this over 2 minus x. We have a 4x plus a 3x. And then when we add those together, we get 7x divided by 2 minus x. And that then is the final answer. So there's the trick. Sometimes they do that. They make the denominators look almost the same. 
except you can see that the difference is that this is the negative of this one. So if you multiply this by negative one, you get the exact same. If you switch it around, and of course, whatever you do to the denominator, you must do exactly the same to the numerator. So hopefully that helps. Take a look at this, and hopefully that will help you a little bit in how to add and subtract rational expressions.